up farm how are you going it's very dark <laughs> that's a bit of a miscalculation she's a bit foggy this morning Wow, that looks incredible this morning. What a sunrise. I'm a big advocate for a sunrise. I reckon sunrises are better than sunsets because it takes a bit of effort to get up for a sunrise. <laughs> uh, what up farm, how are you going? Welcome to another day on the farm. Today we're getting our sheep crutched. Um, the ones back at home got crutched while I was on the holidays, actually, which was nice. Um, but these ones out north are getting done now, which is very good. Yeah. We're the first ones out here. Don't know if you call that a win or not, but anyway. Here we go, set up. We're gonna try and needle them down the race to save getting them in an extra time. It is a lovely morning. At the front here are done. Um, now we're packed up and we're heading to the middle yard down in the middle of the block to do the rest of them. I don't know where these lambs have come from. I mean, I know. I just don't know who the father is and how they got there. Um, mystery. We seem to have a lot of them. Back in their paddock to eat some stuff. There's a lot of rye out there. I have plenty of grain to eat. Alright, we're getting more out there than I left back there. It's going good. It's not even lunchtime yet, and I've got a fair few done. It's also good we're getting this vaccinating done. Um, because we're using uh, Sidectin Ugard. That's a wormer and um, the six in one in one needle versus last year we did it in a drench and a needle. Um, now you can't do it every year because it's good to change your, your attack on the worms so that they don't form resistance, but it's really given us a fair bit of uh, efficiency improvement anyway because we're doing two jobs in one here. Trust, we will trust in you. Oh, we will trust, we will see you. Mind. So, all the merinos done out here, just the crossbreds left. 
we don't have to vaccinate these crossbreds because we actually did them last week um, because we had them in giving them a, a long wool lice treatment because they're showing signs of lice which is a shame but anyway um, yeah it's quite warm in the sun there's hardly any wind perfect day for a ski at the lake I'll be down there later on we're camping there this weekend <laughs> I can't wait to get there <laughs> so the sooner we finish here the sooner I'll be down there anyway I've come to the ute for a drink and then I'll head back over there and we'll get into it all right so if you're a long um long time watcher of the channel you'll notice that this is a different cradle or trailer than what's had we've had in previous years we had a different fella doing it um these guys actually crutched on that other trailer that we used to have they looked at it thought about it and thought how they could make it better so rather than dragging out that side tip your sheep out and then drag like the other one was they built it out this side so you just tip them over and get straight into it classic example of the people using it design a better version of it of it to suit them better so that it's easier for them and if it's easier for them it's easier for the sheep so it's a win-win really That's a job very well done. If you're in the Wimmera area or southeast of South Australia or anywhere really, if you have a big enough job, check out the description down below. Um, you'll find the name and the number of the fellow who did it. Give him a bell, great guy. Um, yeah, while you're in the description, remember that uh, there's a link to the U Beauty Apparel website. If you use the discount code MARK10, you'll save yourself some money at the checkout. So check them out. What a morning. This is living. <laughs> How good. <laughs> <laughs> 